final Apple Cup meeting between these two Pac-12 conference foes while they're in the same conference, and it was everything fans could have possibly hoped for. So here we go from Husky Stadium today. The undefeated fourth-ranked Huskies and the Cougs seeking an eighth straight bowl appearance with a win. UW would strike first. Dylan Johnson from a yard out puts the dogs up seven zip. But the Cougs respond right away. Cam Ward to Josh Kelly from 21 yards out. That touchdown ties us at seven. Then in the second quarter, a series of unfortunate events here for WSU. Cam Lampkin twists his ankle and falls down. And Romo Dunze has never been more wide open in his life. Michael Penix finds him for the touchdown and the Huskies lead at 14-7. But right before the half, the Cougs have an answer. Ward to Kyle Williams in the corner of the end zone. Oh my word, what a one-handed touchdown catch. And we are tied at 14 at the half. To the third quarter now. After a Dean Janikowski missed field goal, it's Penix to Odunze again. What a grab there. UW takes a 21-14 lead. But once again, WSU is not going away. Cam Ward to Lincoln Victor for the touchdown, and we're tied at 21. So here we go, last drive of the game on fourth and one, a trick play, no one sees it coming. It's Odunze picking up a huge first down into Cougar territory. That sets up Grady Gross for the game-winning 42-yard field goal, and the Washington Huskies finish an undefeated regular season with a 24-21 victory. What a game, folks. We want to go live right now to Husky Stadium with Crem 2 Sports Director Travis Green following the Husky celebration out there. And Travis, oh my goodness, man, what a game out there tonight. <laughs> Andrew, truly was a game to remember. While it might not be the outcome Coug fans wanted, it's pretty incredible how this game came down to the wire like it did. The Cougs were 16-point underdogs at the start of game time for this game. Double digits, you rarely see that, but the Cougs obviously held on to the final seconds. And when you look at this, WSU did just about everything they could to win this game. The key was stopping Michael Penix Jr., the highest powered offense in passing in the entire country. Washington averaged 358 yards a game through the air. The Cougs held Michael Penix Jr. to just 204 yards. And maybe the craziest stat of this entire game, the Cougs did something no team was able to do this entire season, and that was get to Michael Penix and get past that offensive line. Just seven times this entire season, Michael Penix was sacked. The Cougs got hit to him twice in this game. But in the end, it was not enough. The Cougs cannot top the number four team in the country, and it was bittersweet for all those involved. When you invest in people, you just want it so bad for them. Not for you, but for them and for their work and what they've done. And like I said, what they've given our program, you know, I think they've carved a future, and I just, I'm disappointed for them that we couldn't deliver for them. It was a tough loss for sure, especially for the seniors to, you know, end it the way it ended on a field goal. You know, that'll forever be with them, it'll be forever be with me. But, you know, I'm blessed. We were blessed to fight with the number four team in the country. But, you know, UW, they're not an easy team to beat. You know, we almost had them, but almost isn't good enough. It's all over, man. It's, it's, uh, it's just like a real final thing, you know. Uh, you see that scoreboard. There's not much you can really do about it, man. I mean, it's a... Uh, I just think about all the memories I made with this team. I love every man in that locker room. I love uh, every coach in that locker room. I just love everyone that's been a part of me on this journey. And there you hear Ron Stone Jr., one of many seniors that have stuck to, with this program through thick and thin, including the COVID years, and now this year with the Pac-12 and everything. They've just played a pivotal role in Washington State Athletics. And Ron Stone also said this was the most fun he's had in a season, despite the losing, the most fun he's ever had. So WSU, their bowl game streak does not get to eight. It ends at seven. As for the Huskies, Andrew, you talked about it a little bit there. The Huskies complete an undefeated season. Hard to imagine. I know it depends on the Pac-12 championship game, but hard to imagine they don't get one of those four spots in the college football playoff. Reporting from Husky Stadium, Travis Green, I'll send it back to you there in the studio, Andrew.